Okay, one thing I want to show you here, coming right outside my front door, is they're putting in two more houses. And they did something bizarre here I had never seen before. Now, I was in construction for about 40 years, so I know a little something. I don't know at all, but they dug a trench and lined it with plastic and then poured their footing in there. You know, they put their rebar down there. And, uh, of course, now most of the world calls this plastic. Here in Arkansas, they call it bisqueen. Don't ask me why, but they do. Uh, you come here, you got to learn their language because people in the South, they seem to have their own language. Like people in the North call soda, soda, and people here call it pop. Uh, I think they do it on purpose so they can distinguish when you're not from around here. That's just my personal feelings and what I've come to the conclusion of. But anyhow, these uh, guys that did these forms, they put in these uh, upright feet here with their uh, condominium nails on there and laser leveled them all. And then they came and they put their top form on. And then the bottom one is just a filler before they poured this slab. Oh, about two days ago, I guess it was. Ooh. And they came in here with their Polish helicopters. And if you're Polish, uh, that's just an expression. Don't get me, uh, don't get upset. And they use their, um, uh, you know, pipe in a pipe, just like that one. For these, they run a... Oh, like a two-inch pipe, and they put their smaller pipes inside. That's a good way to do it, because if there's ever an issue, you can just pull it all out and refeed it. And they've got the pipe sticking out here. Uh, they, uh, these guys who do this, I have not been able to identify what kind of people they are. Um, they're obviously from down south they're not mexican and they don't look like they're from guatemala el salvador or nicaragua and you know those kind of places they don't look like that to me however they're all big guys uh, i wouldn't want to get in a fight with any of them because they're pretty stout boys but um yeah the uh every single one of them looks like daddy beat them with an ugly stick i mean we <laughs> i mean oh my god these guys are brutal, and they talk some funky language, which I have not been able to identify, like I said. And uh, we got some big cat keeps coming out of the woods here and leaving footy prints on our uh, back deck. Uh, they came and they drove the machine across the, the sod there and uh, filled in the dirt around there and cleaned up their <laughs> crappy uh, job they did. But they're going to have to come in and resod that anyhow. And this uh, gravel thing outside my front door too, they've got to um, uh, put sod on that because it's like a moat when it rains. Uh, when they're building the house, I suggested to them that they put in a uh, French drain. That is a drainage system that takes the water from one point and moves it somewhere else. Um, and uh, this one over here. Now this land right here is really, it's swamp land. You've seen the videos of when my house was new. Uh, this is all swamp land. I talked to the builder and uh, they put in one of them big covert things to catch water down the other end of the street. And he said he really wished they put it here because this is more wet than anything. And I... Uh, I take his word on it. He knows what he's talking about. But anyhow, uh, this house and the next one, uh, people have already moved into. These people just moved in. And then they've got uh, two more up there that I think they're sold and uh, people are ready to go into that. These people have been by in this house to uh, inspect and do the final okay. And I watch these... Uh, Mexican guys, they stopped and gave me a business card to one day, and uh, the guy who gave me the car, he was either drunk or stoned. His eyes were, I mean, bloodshot big time. But uh, 
He said he charges $5 a square foot. And after watching these guys build this fence, I wouldn't hire them. Uh, nothing, you know, nothing against Hispanics, you know. Hey, they got to feed their family just like everybody else. But you could see that in that fence as it goes along, it just has a big drop in the middle. And uh, the boards are cattywampus and everything. I, I watched them build it, and I was just shaking my head going, Shh, I ain't hiring you. <laughs> but anyhow... Yeah, this is what we got to, and I'm, like I told my son, because he sleeps during the day, you know, these going to be, these people are going to be banging and booming, but he was, he wasn't too concerned about it, so, okay, let me jump down off this form, hopefully I won't break my neck, uh, because of this COVID thing, they haven't been able to, uh, do anything with this cable, it just kind of, uh, it's buried, but then it's got a big spool over here, and it's across our living room floor, which is <laughs> makes it look stupid. But anyhow, uh, able to cheat it in behind the screen and still lock the window, so that's a good thing. But anyhow, uh, just a quick update of uh, what's been going on here at the homestead, and uh, until the next one, we'll see you later. Later.